Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. There's an article uh, in this week's Boxing News which uh, talks about a lady by the name of Denise Castle who is trying to get a license in Britain to fight. Now, this lady has already had six professional fights, predominantly in Thailand and um, possibly, I think, Japan maybe. Um, her, her record is three and three. She's got three KOs in her wins, all three of her wins were KOs, and she's been stopped once in her three defeats. Now, this wouldn't be particularly interesting, except that this lady is 51 years of age. And the article goes into her career, which predominantly, well, previously it was a, a Muay Thai career. She fought in the you know, Far East uh, as a Muay Thai fighter, Bangkok and places, you know, similar, similar big cities in the in the Far East, and she had some success. I think she was a world champ, or WBC champ anyway. And then she um, she went over to the, you know, the, the boxing code, the glove code, the Queensby rules and all that. Um, she started in 2014, which would have, oh, that have made her, it would have made her 42 when she started. And she won her first two fights by knockout, uh, one, one of them was in Bangkok, the other one was in uh, Nothaburi. Um, the first one, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the, the females, I'd probably, uh, that these were, um, I think, Japanese fighters or Thai fighters with very long names I would only butcher, so I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but she won the first fight by first round knockout uh, against a girl who was three and two. Her second fight was against a girl who had no wins and two defeats, and she she stopped her in the sixth round of, of an eight eight twos fight, and then she lost two fights because she, somehow winning those two fights against very very low opposition got her a WBC World Atomweight uh, title, where she weighed I think about a hundred pounds, hundred and two pounds, a very small lady, um, and she got stopped in in eight rounds on her feet in eight rounds. Um, she then uh, lost a 10 round decision and that was for the vacant WBC atom weight title so she's got she had a two and one record with two knockouts two knockout wins and one and one stoppage defeat uh, and she she lost over 10 and then she she had another win that was um, five round fifth round stoppage of, of a 10 twos fight with a girl who was four and six uh, and then she lost a split decision uh, that was in 2022 so she's in the space of you know eight years. She's only had six fights. But in 2022, she again challenged <laughs> for the vacant WBC atom weight title. Uh, little tiny, tiny women, 100 pounds, against uh, Norj Guro, and was she lost a split decision over over eight rounds. It was only a world title fight, supposedly over eight rounds. Look, um, we know that the female code is very very thin on the ground when it comes to talent very thin which is why girls like um you know uh, candy candy wyatt of canada who fought for a vacant title against um, natasha jonas last weekend and got stopped in eight rounds um, she was coming off a win but i think prior to that she had three defeats one of them was by stoppage against jessica mccaskill but at least she's fought at the highest level you know jessica mccaskill's a good fighter and she's fought a few other good ones um so but but she she had no business really fighting for a vacant world title and Natasha beat her easily. Um, with this lady Denise Castle, I, I'm not. I mean any any application for um, uh, for a, a, a license I think should be taken on its own merits. If you're 51, it doesn't necessarily mean you, you've finished. Um, and there's a picture of her in boxing news, you know, in a fighting pose, and she looks. Shredded. She looks, you know, like she's in really optimum weight, optimum uh, uh, condition. Uh, so I think if the board were to say, "Well, you're 51, you can't have a license," that alone, that would be, I wouldn't like that. They'd have to do tests on her, you know, all the tests that are necessary. She'd have to pass all the medicals. But I don't see why she should be given. She shouldn't be given a license. Um, but this was this was this is an interesting subject because, as an aside, um, again, this is in this week's boxing news. They talked about um, older fighters fighting. I'm going to read. I'll read. A, they had a top ten, and I'll, I'll read them out to you. So I think it's very interesting that men have actually fought way beyond 51. As we, we, I'm sure you can name a couple offhand, but um, you had uh, a female, another female fighter, Alicia Ashley, uh, from Jamaica. Um, 
and she last fought when she was 50. Obviously, you've got Bernard Hopkins, who was 51, nearly 52, when he fought uh, Joe Smith and got knocked through the ropes. You might remember that fight. Dewey Bozella was 52 when he fought. This is the guy you may remember who was in prison for since, well, he's been in prison for many, many years. Came out, had one pro fight. He said he always wanted to have a pro fight because he fought in prison uh, in the system. And he won it, and then he retired. You've got Ferret Arslan, who is um, a German cruiserweight, who has been around forever. And believe it or not, he is 52 years old. And in his last 22 fights, has won 20 with one defeat and one draw. I mean, the opposition's been poor. I would imagine. I'll have to go and have a look at it. I think it's been poor. But at 52, I mean, that's some, that takes some going. And Larry Holmes was another one. He was 52 when he beat Butterbean. Oliver McCall had his last fight when he was 54. You've got Roy Jones, who's 54, who had his who had a professional fight against, was it an MMA fighter and uh, making his debut and he lost on points, Jones did, which is horrible to see. And he had a, um, I think last week, maybe, maybe last weekend, he had an uh, exhibition fight, but he can't say no, Jones, he can't say goodbye. It's sad, really. Then you've got Rebecca Light. Um, she was 57 um, and she boxed. She is the oldest active boxer because she's still boxing. Um, and she's a bantamweight Uh and she'll turn 58 in September. She lost fought in March in South Carolina. Uh, but she has lost 10 of the last 11. So maybe she shouldn't be fighting. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. You then got Sal Mambi, who you, people may remember, um, who was a light, WBC light welterweight champ, I think. Or was it? Yeah, it was light, light welterweight champ. Made a few defences too. But he had his last fight at 60, and that was 26 years after he'd been world champ and then the biggest one of all the oldest of all was Steve Ward who was 64 years old when he had a fight a professional fight um, and he beat his last fight was against Adrian Palagoia I'm reading this Adrian uh, Palogia uh, who was a mere 50 so Steve Ward at 64 beat, beat up a stripling at 50 but age here's the question for you does it matter how does it matter why does it matter? Um, give me some details. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave your comments below because I'm interested to hear your take on the age thing. And should do you think Denise Castle should be uh, given a license or not? What do you think about older people fighting? Um, yeah, comments below. I'll read them and answer. As always, thanks for your time. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give us a like as well. That helps us out and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. Many thanks for your time again. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Bye for now.